All right, this is a 2001 Ford Taurus, 109,000 miles, um, regular 3.0 overhead valve engine, and uh, today we're replacing the throttle body sensor. Um, I've already replaced the idle air control valve uh, from an idling issue. It fixed it somewhat, but there's still a little hesitation. So from what I've seen online, um, I'm going to be replacing this. I got this part off eBay for $15. and. Uh, it's held in by two screws back here, and they're too tight to even uh, use this back there. You really have no room, and even if you, uh, I can't even fit that back there. So what you have to do is take the throttle body cover off. Um, you want to start by unplugging three sensors, your mass airflow sensor, your idle air control valve, and the throttle body sensor. Then take out uh, these two hoses off the air box. It's an 8mm bolt to undo that. And do the two clips. And this comes right out. Followed by um, four bolts on the throttle body, which are 8mm. And then there's a bracket with another stud bolt that comes out, which is 10 millimeter right there. And to loosen the bracket, it's a 13 millimeter. You don't have to take it out all the way. So I'm gonna do that and come back with the next step. Okay, so you can see I loosened the 13 millimeter bracket bolt right here. You don't have to take it fully off, but just loosen it. And uh, it just pops on like that. Once that's loosened, you can pull it off and just push it to the side, like so. And then you have your uh, your 10 millimeter bolt that I'm going to screw in here. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hold on. Okay. Here's the bolt that I'm talking about. Um, it's a 10 millimeter uh, deep socket extension right there. Um, and then it's the bracket and then it has an 8 millimeter nut on the front of it. That's on the left hand corner. Once you take that out, you can just remove your throttle body over to get to the, uh, there, right there with two Phillips heads. So I'll come back to you when I have that off. Okay, so I have it off. Um, it uses two Phillips head screws and I found that since it was in there so tight and the car's um, 14 years old, um, it was a lot easier to use a uh, one fourth socket with a, a bit inside of it and you just give more power to pull them screws out um, so here's where it goes on that piece right there and all you do is you see how it's curved in there you want to hook it down and bring it up and it'll just sit in place while you screw it back on um, I should also mention I didn't have a check engine light um, my check engine light was not on for this to be replaced um, so we'll see if it fixes the problem all right, so I got it back in place. Um, what I did was first, I put all three eight millimeter bolts in to hold it in place. And then I put that 10 millimeter stud back in. And what you wanna do is before you tighten down the bracket, push it back on. And then it's a 13 millimeter. You're gonna need an extension to, uh, to tighten this. So you gotta tighten that down like so. And then you want to take your, don't forget your 8 millimeter nut that goes back over that uh, bracket right there, like so. And then tighten that down. Okay. Alright, so I got it all buttoned back up. I put the air box on. I've already started it and it runs great. Um, so you don't need a check engine light to know if it's bad or not. But um, if your car is over 14 years old and has 100,000 miles, you should probably start replacing sensors if you're going to keep it. But uh, anyway, you want to make sure you plug in your mass airflow sensor back in, the throttle body sensor, the idle air control valve, and your two ducts. Um, or do your two hoses to the air duct and then hook that back up and you're all good to go. Uh, and the tools you need are a 13 millimeter for that bracket down below on the engine, uh, an extension, an 8 millimeter, and then a 10 millimeter deep socket for that, uh, that long bolt where the bracket hooks onto. 
So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helped. Um, comment down below, uh, rate, and subscribe. Appreciate it. I do answer comments. Thanks for watching.